Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to share with you guys a quick lip swatch and review and demo video of the new Katie Cat Matte Lipsticks from CoverGirl. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have five of the 11 shades that they offer. These are priced at $7.99. You can get them on sale. I know Walmart is selling them and I think it's like maybe a dollar cheaper there. And of course, CoverGirl always has coupons as well. So definitely look out for sales and coupons. So let's talk about the shades first and you'll see some swatches and then we'll talk about the formula and whether or not I would recommend it. The shades that I have, the first one I'll show you is Sphinx. This one's just a really pretty light peachish pink daily shade. This is one that like I have worn a lot since I bought it this week and it's just such a classic everyday color for me. It's kind of a your lips but better color and I just really like it. The next shade is called Couture, like Couture but cat or <laughs> And this one's like a deeper version of the one I just showed you. It does have more of a red pull to it um, but it, it reminds me of kind of the same color family. In the packaging, the swatch kind of thing on the bottom looks actually not that much darker than Sphinx, but you'll see in the swatch it actually is much darker. And this is another one I like, but it's a little deeper than I would typically wear for every day, so it would have to be a very specific time that I would wear it. The next one, and the one that I'm actually wearing on my lips right now, is called Kitty Purry. I thought that was hilariously clever. And this one has more, it's another lighter kind of pink color, but this one has more of a blue cooler pull to it. I love this one. This is one that can make your lips look a little bit yellow. So the warmer tone ones don't as much, but this cooler tone more blue kind of does. So this is one that I'm actually not wearing it with lip liner today because I wanted you guys to kind of see what it looks like. But um, I think this is one that will look better with lip liner just to kind of clean up the edges around your lips. But it is pretty. It's a pretty color, but you do have to be the right skin tone for it, in my opinion. The next one is kind of a red one that I had to get, and it's called Crimson Cat. And this one is just a really pretty blue-toned red. It, I love reds like this, where it's got a little bit, it's kind of right in between, but it does have a little bit more of a cool tone to it. And I think it just ends up looking so beautiful. I love this shade of red. It's a very Taylor Swift kind of a red. Although she wears like all versions of red. The last one I'm gonna show you is called Maroon Meow. And this one is, it looks really deep in the packaging and it is really deep, but it's certainly like a purple, actually maroon, because maroon, I mean, that's very aptly titled. It is a very deep maroon. Um, it's really pretty though. This is a really good fall color. Again, you definitely need a lip liner with this or the red one that I showed you but a really, really pretty fall or winter berry, but like deep berry kind of a color. But what I appreciate about this color is that it's not like that brown um, that, you know, it looks great on some people, but not everyone. This one really is a true, almost like grape juice kind of a color. So let's get into the formula. This is a, it's marketed as a demi matte. And so it's not completely matte. It's just kind of like more of like a satin matte type. And I feel like it, I would agree. It's certainly not a matte, but it's not super, you know, um, glossy or anything like that. I think that's a good description of it. However, I don't think it's very comfortable. At, when you first put it on, it does glide on. It does have a feel of like, and when you're doing the swatches, obviously they're really pigmented. They glide right on, but I don't feel like they stay in place very well. I think they do better with the lip liner. And on top of that, I just feel like it kind of dries my lips out. After about an hour, my lips feel really dry. Not in the way that like a true like matte matte would do, but just in a way that it just doesn't feel comfortable on my lips. Whereas I feel like like the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, I think last a little better, pack a little bit more of a punch, and they have like that demi matte in their line. So I just I just was not very impressed to be honest, and I was really sad to not be that impressed because the colors are absolutely gorgeous, and I love Katy Perry. But I feel like CoverGirl lipsticks across the board, I've tried a couple that I like, and I do have some in my collection that I like, but for the most part, the formula of their lipsticks just isn't my favorite. It always has that same kind of slippery feel to it where it ends up drying my lips out and not really looking the way I expect it to look. That's just kind of my own thing. I know we all have our own opinions about it. I wouldn't say totally stay away from them because I don't think it's a terrible lipstick. It's just not my favorite. My favorite shades are probably Sphinx, that first one I showed you that's really kind of that lighter color right there. Just because I love it, this was in my purse, I wore it all week, like I mentioned. So that's kind of how I know it kind of dries them out a little bit, but I still really like the color. And I even like the look of it. Another one I just think is a little bit more unique is that kind of blue toned pink. I think that's not as seen right now, and I think it really is a pretty color. So if you have the right, like especially if you're tanner than I am, that would look so beautiful. 
And then I also, I mean, honestly, all of these are pretty. I think that grape juice kind of colored one is just cool. And the red one I like because I just like reds. But if you don't like red, then you probably wouldn't love it. Now let's talk about the packaging. How cute is this packaging? It's the white and it's kind of a matte feel to it like the NARS packaging would have. It does show dirt easily, but I mean, you can pretty much wipe it clean. I think it is so cute the way they did it. And then on the other side, it says Katy Perry, heart, and then cover girl. And then of course it has little kitty ears. Um, they're above the title. I think the packaging, they like nailed it. It is so cute. These don't really have a noticeable smell and I feel like a lot of lipsticks in the drugstore do and these don't. So I applaud CoverGirl for that because that can really turn a lot of people off when there's a really strong smell. So that is good. The wear time on these is kind of so-so. I mean, it's just a lipstick that you're just gonna have to reapply throughout the night if you're going out or throughout the day. So, you know, I mentioned that after about an hour, it would kind of wear down. I would say after a couple hours, it's non-existent so you do have to reapply and that's why I wouldn't necessarily recommend the darker ones um, unless you know you want to reapply them because they're just gonna wear off kind of wonky and dry your lips out whereas with the lighter ones it's not gonna be as obvious if it's wearing off so um, that's just kind of my two cents on that so hopefully this video is helpful for you guys and I hope that you'll watch some more of my lip swatch videos I have an entire playlist I will link below of all kinds of drugstore lip collections swatched on my lips I hope that you'll subscribe to catch more and I'll see you guys in my next one bye